Well, since we're talking about social networks here, Facebook threatens to sue Mark Zuckerberg. Well, it is true, sort of. This particular Mark Zuckerberg is an Israeli entrepreneur who recently took the social network founder's name. This new Zuckerberg was born Rotem Goes and legally changed his name December 7th just to spite the social network and probably enjoy his 15 minutes of fame that such a name would give him. He even created a website markzuckerbergofficial.com and according to the letter, Zuckerberg II first filed the lawsuit against Facebook in January of this year after the social network refused to give him access to his profile, which it had shut down. So what happened there? The Israeli entrepreneur co-founded the Like Store, a social marketing company. Can you guess what services it provides? With a name like this, it's pretty obvious. The store sells companies Facebook likes for their brand pages. The site states, quote, Are you sad no one's visiting your Facebook page? We have a solution. Need 1,000 likes? We'll get them for you. Need 5,000 likes? We'll get them for you. Need 10,000 likes? We'll get them for you. Their services are not limited to Facebook. They also include boosting your content on Google+, YouTube and other methods of questionable morality to make you look more popular than you really are. Well, granted, these tactics have existed long before its social networks, with people pretending to like something and telling it to others simply because they got paid to do it. On the other hand, this sort of commercialization kind of kills the whole concept of something being popular or viral. If all the hype is fake, all these likes and shares are meaningless, right? Well, apart from being in the moral gray area, such activity is often frowned upon by the service owners, in this case Facebook. This September, Facebook's law firm Perkins Coy threatened to sue against Zuckerberg, whose name was still Rotten Goose back then, claiming that the like store violated the social network's terms of service by selling breads, fans and likes. The legal threat instructed Zuckerberg to shut his company and never return to the social network for any reason. Zuckerberg officially changed his name December 7th, shot a video of this process and stated that he plans to change his family's names as well. One week after that, Facebook again threatened a lawsuit against Zuckerberg's still existing like store. But of course, by that time, they were threatening someone with the name of their own founder. Though legally that does not make any difference and Facebook can of course sue someone named Zuckerberg or even Batman or Superman for that matter, it does make the case at least amusing and, well, viral. Kind of ironic seeing as how the star of this tale is one of those that cheapen the viral effect by making it purchasable. Most likely anticipating the media attention he would receive after such developments, Zuckerberg 2.0 has set up an internet campaign for this new persona, including a Facebook page and Twitter account, at iMarkZuckerberg, suggesting that he's ready to make the headlines with this new identity. Not to give any reasons to Facebook administration to block his new page, but probably also to rub it in their faces, his Facebook page includes photos of the new identification card and passport showing off his new name. For an entrepreneur of a company that does what it does, this sort of publicity is, well, unheard of. At least in Russia, simulated social activity is also for sale, of course, although companies usually don't advertise these services to the broad audiences and prefer to dwell in the bowels of e-commerce, hanging out in the alleys of freelance employment websites instead of creating flashy websites and going head-to-head -head with social network giants, insulting them in their face. But maybe this is a stroke of marketing genius. Now a lot of people know the name of the company as well as the name of its founder for that matter. Even if he's eventually blocked from Facebook, he had his publicity and got his name out there. His Facebook presence is not really required to provide the advertised services after all. He just resells the services of live and automated drones. And these are not impossible to weed out and trace. And speaking of cyberspace and celebrities, it looks like someone else is also trying to abuse the power of social networks for commercial purposes. 